How to put a stop to an industry generating tens of billions of dollars each year. Sex trafficking is a very real problem in this country, even in the QCA. Tonight in the second part of our special series, KWQC's Bailey Deet shows us how local survivors are sharing their stories as part of efforts to prevent more people from becoming victims. The International Labor Organization estimates that there are 4.5 million people trapped in forced sexual exploitation globally. Victims are frequently lured by false promises of a lucrative job, stability, or a loving relationship. Advocates say it's important to not only recognize the signs, but work together on better education and resources. I really struggled for the longest time with, well, it was my choice. But about 10 years ago, Sarah Kellams lost her choice, coerced into the sex trafficking industry right here in the Quad Cities. It was something on a daily basis, even when I didn't want to or I just, you know, wanted to stay at home. At 21, that was all she knew for an entire year, numb from drug and alcohol use, depressed, and at one point raped by multiple men. And it was scary. There were times that it was life-threatening. Eventually, Kellams brought herself to leave and hasn't looked back, though it is still something she's dealing with. I've always had the flashbacks, um, so that's kind of a struggle. Hotels are really hard for me. Now she's choosing to use her trials as a teaching tool. My life was out of control. I was always afraid. She and two other sex trafficking victims from the QCA sharing their stories in a documentary, Any Kid Anywhere, collaborating with local organization Breaking Traffic. Women and kids can fall victim in so many different ways. Emphasizing that no community is immune, even small Midwestern areas. And it's not just adults. Youth right here fall into a shocking statistic. 100,000 American children are victimized each year. The average age, 11 to 14 years old. It's just a matter of changing our mindset. It's difficult to see something when it's contrary to what you've been raised to believe. O'Keefe, Breaking Traffic's executive director, has been working with several area school districts the last couple of years, including Pleasant Valley, where sex trafficking awareness is now part of the syllabus in freshman health classes. A lot of times because it starts with the internet. And that is one of the things that we cover in our Human Growth and Development Unit. And now Kellums and the other survivor stories are being added to the lesson plan to show different ways victims are pulled in and what to do if approached. If somebody sat down and talked to me, that I would probably think twice about uh, the choices that I made. It makes perfect sense for us to spread this message, not to scare kids, but to give them the information of what is out there and maybe help each other um, if it ever were to occur. It's hard to measure the program's success, but O'Keefe thinks it's making a difference. Kids are not only more aware of this crime, and it has actually led to some students intervening on behalf of other students, which is very exciting. Breaking Traffic also annually works with legislators to strengthen laws that provide justice for victims. In some cases, arresting someone for selling sex may be the only way to save a victim. So advocates are also working with police agencies to identify cases and find appropriate ways to help. We're putting together a protocol call for responding to cases of human trafficking to ensure that women and children who fall victim in our community don't fall through the cracks and get the help that they need. Starting at the local level, confronting a global issue. I think it's very important, um, not just my story, but just raising awareness that it does happen. Along with that, Kellum says taking action is a choice we can all make. Bailey Dietz, KWQC TV6 News. If you or someone you know is a victim of sex trafficking, help is available through the National Human Trafficking Resource Center. Call the number on your screen, 888-373-7888. And more information on resources can be found on our website, kwqc.com.